I'm the rich homie Quan of Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta, one time Atlanta makes a fucking noise, let's get to this. Sonny Bamboo, we're about to get to battle number two of the day, first ever time up in Isle Fights. And to my right hand side, first ever time battle in the Don't Fuck USA, my man Shuffle T, make some noise. Let's go! <laughs> to my left, y'all know this dude, a local legend, give it up for Carter G. Carter Deans. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we chose off camera. Carter wanted for me if you want to shuffle to go first. Round number one on shuffle. Let's come on. Yo, I got a gun! <laughs> Huge as shit! Trigger alone is two foot six. <laughs> it takes three hours to load up and shoot the clip, so I really can't emphasize how huge it is. <laughs> Like it's too big, you know. <laughs> Stupid big. I barely ever get around to using it. It's sort of an impulse buy, you know, it's ludicrous. I, I don't really know what to do with it. It's a hassle. I want to get rid of it and just call it a day. You open up my door and it falls in your face. I only live in this small little place and this fucking gun is taking up all of the space. <laughs> <laughs> the bullets for this gun are like watermelons. <laughs> well, fuck it, actually bigger. Most people don't believe until I come and hand them a picture. You can't even lift it by like the upper handle and fixture. You have to aim it on the ground and sort of rugby tackle the trigger. Oh my God. <laughs> Useless fucking gun. <laughs> I regret buying it. I mean, the cash was too much. I had to take a second mortgage to afford it, and as if that's not enough, the outer plating is starting to show cracking and rust, and it's at home, and it is just gathering dust. Incidentally, if anyone wants to buy a gun, I can sell you a fucking giant one. Time. Y'all bring it down. I really like to eat cheesecake. Cheesecake. I don't care if he hates I'll he eat it till my teeth ache. I'm fired to death that cream mate. I'm all about that cream mate. Getting cheddar on the side and the cracker on a cheese plate. <laughs> You're just a cheapskate. I bought rollerblades from a goodwill, those were cheapskates. <laughs> Hottest rhymes are body lines and tear through this square like police tape. It'll go down to the wire like what's under his shirt when the police tape. Mm. My car took its top off like it's spring break. <laughs> <laughs> My car took its top off like it's spring break. I'll jump on a trampoline so hard I'll make the spring break. <laughs> I can take I can take one look at this creep's face and tell that he vapes. You'd like to fill your body with steam, great, but popcorn lung is real. That'll make your chest deflate. So if you ever feel tempted again, you can give me a call, even if it seems late. I'm here for you. <laughs> I'm here for you, except for the hours between three and eight. But from nine to two, but from nine to two, we're teammates. That means we're on the same exact team, mate. We can have long conversations about your problems with vaping, but don't worry. We'll take a break for tea, mate. <laughs> but if your team hate, I'll shoot four points and another four. That means I'll give your whole team eight bullets. Bullets will be what your team ate. You'll never see Shuffle T become a father. That means you'll never see Shuffle T make. <laughs> I'm gripping, leaving the 
pistol I'm gripping, leave him with nothing but peripheral vision. That means he, that means he won't be able to see straight. I make his I make his teeth break like a Greek plate after a wedding that happened from the uh, result of a very successful speed date. <laughs> Time. <laughs> Back on shuffle. Uh, hit me up for a battle. I knew it was you from the way that he told me. He didn't even tag you, homie. He just sent me the cat emoji. <laughs> <laughs> you say you'll never know what you'll see that cat man do. Well, I have bad news. I'm a cat man too. You're cat man one. Well, I'm cat man two. Shout out to his neat cat tattoo. <laughs> You see me in the club, you think I'm throwing all kinds of stacks and then you come closer and see that I'm just stroking the tiny cat. <laughs> I'm such a cat person, I make you look like a dog person, Deems. Looking like you love your dog more than Ron Burgundy. I, can't, I campaigned for cats' rights and only nocturnally, so most Chinese food outlets have stopped serving me. <laughs> So you can imagine my surprise a little while ago. I get a knock on the door. It's Carter Deem's cat just flopped on the floor. He came out to the UK to see me. So I offered support. I guess I just didn't know what was in store. I washed up his paws, trimmed the top of his claws, just taking care of him. It wasn't a chore. I asked him why he came out. What was, it, what was it for? It seemed to imply that he wasn't so sure. We were sat on the sofa. I could tell the cat was hungry, so I offered him a couple of catnip munchies. He seemed kind of anxious, worried, panicked, jumpy. Just kept kind of acting funny. He said he shouldn't have come, started to patch his buggy. He got up, spun around, I caught him like, that was lucky. <laughs> I look into his eyes. He looked back and touched me. <laughs> One thing led to another, and I scratched his tummy. <laughs> <laughs> and he fucked me. <laughs> I brought him in to meet my other 150 cats. I snuggled him with the pat and got cuddles and kisses back. I was clutching the kitten and I was rubbing his little back. Then I'm touching his whistle, scratching him, hugging his little stack. Mm. Moral of the story, these cats are lovely and cute. <laughs> so you best learn to give them the love that they're due. Because if you don't, they'll come and live under my roof. And I might have to just fuck them for you. <laughs> Back to quite a day. <laughs> Bring it down, please. I'm the rich homie Quan of Pokemon. <laughs> I'm the rich homie Kwan, a Pokemon. Raise a scooter, that's what I'm rolling on. A bad boy. I watch TV while my dad mows the lawn, cause there's no way I can help if Oprah's on. <laughs> my garage look like a Toyota Thon. <laughs> I walked to the dealership, dropped so many stacks till the Toyota's gone. Somebody stole my star figurines, now my Toyota's gone. <laughs> I really like t-shirts, but I love this button-up. <laughs> Sorry, the button's stuck. <laughs> Just kidding, this is an iPhone that doesn't have buttons, chump. <laughs> I'll give a right hard uh, I'll give a right hard uppercut to whoever has a side part undercut. That that die hard gun is tough, I'm ready to roll with the chopper like I'm in the sidecar buckled up. Look, I better knuckle up, cause when that cold cake bag it'll leave his whole tummy tuck. Keep an eye on the kid like Uncle Buck, don't care if he's brave, even the mighty duck when they see this knuckle punk. Oh.
My hustle tough. 2016 alone, I made over a hundred bucks. <laughs> I could win this battle and not mention shuffle once, cause the cards are stuck. Uh, cause the cards are stacked against them, and I didn't shuffle once. Last week I went to a wedding and I did the Cupid shuffle once. <laughs> and I didn't even RSVP to the save the date. <laughs> I didn't RSVP to the save the date before the bride could take one slice. I already ate a I already ate some cake on a paper plate. Then I danced with my three amazing dates to baby face blasting out the 808. Then we got a quick makeout session before the DJ played Ace of Base. <laughs> now it's time to change the pace. Fist pounding from both sides like shaking bakes and his body flying like Jake the Snake when he made the table break in WrestleMania 8. When the bell, when the bell rings, it's Van Helsing because I've raised the stakes. Okay. When they come face to face, we'll face your fate. Give him more rounds than the hateful eight than misspell his name on the tombstone just to prove you made a grave mistake. <laughs> There's not a huge difference between a rock and my muscle. <laughs> You're not stopping my hustle. I take chances. I roll dice like Yahtzee in trouble. I drove my boat into like Yahtzee in trouble. I drove my boat into a storm. Now my Yahtzee in trouble. This hardly a scuffle. I give him those long texts like when Rev Run covers his body in bubbles. <laughs> Then send him spinning through this. Then send him spinning through the city. Then spin, send him spinning through the stage like Sonic and Knuckles. Don't care if there's a crowd around. I just let my bullet get lost in the shuffle. All right, the yeah, just kidding. Violence is dumb. <laughs> Why would I fight with a knife or a gun? That life isn't fun. Besides, I don't want to look back and be ashamed in front of my wife and my son. I'm not saying that I live the life of a nun, because I'm not a woman. <laughs> <laughs> but I do want to open his heart and let my rhyme shine like the sun. And I know I'm sounding like a preacher, but last year I had five seizures, so I'm done biting my tongue. Yeah. Forget that. I'll grab a gun and hurt him really bad. <laughs> I know they want me to stick to the formula like Similac and rap about kitty cats. He thought he knew where my written's at, but I made those disappear like a henna tat. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. You're pretty funny, Carter. You're a comedy splendor. But when it comes to relatability, you're not a contender. I bet you show your parents your battles and they don't compliment ever. They just go, oh yeah, blimey, there's a lot to remember. <laughs> <laughs> you know those half compliments people give when they're trying to be incredibly nice to you? Like, no, it wasn't bad, you know, it's better than I could do. <laughs> you thought you'd be the weirdest guy in this place? I just did a whole round about fucking your kitten, mate. You're about to meet your match like a Tinder date. My wit is ace with my great British ways. English phrase, if it's, if it's great, it's an A. I'll beat your cat to a pulp and tell it to have a nice day. I'll tell people buying shoes for you that you're size 8. I'll steal your bins and sell them back to you at a high rate and cover all your step ladders in anti-climb paint. I'll put a cartridge in your back like a fountain pen. Then apologise after and take it out again. Yeah. Your fashion sense is a 3 out of 10. You're more Ralph Wiggum than Ralph Lauren. <laughs> Your IQ is a high 2. <laughs> <laughs> my favourite colour is light blue. <laughs> That's the colour of my room and it's not quite the right hue. My autobiography is a haiku. I ride unicycles and drive throughs I couldn't think of angles that I'd use so I started to write like you. So listen hard as can be, Carter B. Deans. You'll get hit with my car in the street and there's just a long silence after the beep like an answer machine. <laughs> <laughs> so better the Omega, no sweater, just a Superman suit and my clothes dresser. So whether it's a broader at home leisure, I'm still a go-getter with low effort, universal appeal. Rosetta Stone measures, no pressure. Turn up on your plate, pack with heat like a ghost pepper, not just a joke teller. You stay in your lane so you'll blow never, cause you won't ever grow when there's nowhere to go. So that's the difference between you and me. <laughs> that's the difference between you and me. 
I could do a stand-up set at a funeral scene. Because I could write I could write jokes to make the crowd laugh suitably with the same pen I used to write your eulogy. You've been highlighted lately as the future, Deems. Had a couple good opponents and a few you beat, but you're still considered a joke, so that's a useless streak like running naked through a nudist beach. <laughs> now usually I do some local references. But I haven't really travelled through the town. I need to do one in this battle, so I have to do it now. Sucking up to the audience is a good avenue I've found, so I've got broads in Atlanta. Let's all pander to the crowd. <laughs> they say the crowd gassing me, but I don't need that, because I already got gas in me. <laughs> when it comes to getting dates, I believe in maybes. I know you see me, ladies. I'm in the middle, son, like Peter Brady. Listen to the best of Ja Rule in a green Mercedes. <laughs> I got so much bread, I don't even need a bakery. I've been popping tags since the 90s. I own 89 Beanie Babies. <laughs> right now, I'm going commando. That's Green Beret. I'll teach him about class like PTA. Give him three nines like my GPA. Then let that 30 rock like Tina Fey. <laughs> yeah, that was hard. <laughs> You better listen to what the TV say. It'll get graphic like the 3D age when I grit that bland thing broke a disc man cause you won't see CD play. I roll up on him like BB-8. When I raise this fin, I name my gun Kylo Ren cause I aim that beam three ways. You can catch me on the corner doing hard labor, making large paper. I would prop my feet up and later I would prop my feet up and smoke a cigar later, but earlier I ate a lot of cookies and that would make me barf vape barf wafers. You have a vape life tattoo and you love to smoke the orange flavor. He he thinks smoking an e-cig makes him a bad boy. We should call you Darth Vapor. <laughs> I invited a girl over to Netflix and chill, but I really just wanted to watch Netflix for real. <laughs> Last week I got a new George Foreman. I didn't even need a dentist drill to get a different grill. Look, 15 minutes ago I took 35 Benadryl. I'm not even sick or ill, I just wanted to feel really chill. <laughs> when I grit that still, I hope you have a written will. I sent a letter to the Fresh Prince. I've written will. <laughs> And I know they say that I should directly address my opponent more, so, hey man, how's it going? That was pretty easy, but I don't want to go overboard. So, <laughs> so it's back to the random stuff, you know? Microwave, sofa, shorts. I got a large microwave and a small couch. That means my sofa short. I know, he, <laughs> I know he's ready to go to war and made the judgments fly just to prove that he's holding court he's trying to ridicule and start acting rude but to me those are no-nos like Lord Voldemort I did this on my own accord I have nice cars, I don't own accords, I never drove a Ford that's how I open doors what do you think? that's how I open doors, what do you think I'm rolling for? my old coot got no roof like a dog without vocal cords I pull up in that double door on top, I'm off top, I'm on point like Dumbledore. What am I talking to this muggle? <laughs> off top, I'm on point like Dumbledore. What am I talking to this muggle for? I'll sign you so hard I'll have to cut the cord. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Then I'll break his back in half, send his disc flying like shuffleboard, then visit him in the hospital and read Atlas Shrugged till shuffleboard. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, give it up, give it up, make some noise, where y'all at?